Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You're probably like, oh my goodness, we have never seen Alana with so much makeup on. But I felt very inspired, especially with the new series on Disney Plus and just seeing photos of Lily, what's her last name? Anyways, she was like morphed into Pamela Anderson and the makeup and prosthetics is incredible. I think we can all agree Pamela Anderson had a very iconic look to her. So this is my take on it. I literally whipped my hair up in a clip. It's nothing fancy. I think it looks fancier than it actually is. But if you want to see how I did this makeup, please know I don't look anything like Pamela Anderson. So this is very much an inspired look. So if you want to see how I did it, then just keep on watching. For foundation, I feel like it was definitely more of a full coverage matte situation. So I'm gonna take my Note BB Cream. This isn't by any means a full coverage foundation, but it has a nice coverage to it. And I think it's perfect for this look. So I'm just gonna put it all over my face. I don't know what's with my foundation choosing at the moment, but this is for sure too dark for me. Normally I wear 01 and I went with 02 thinking, I have a little bit of glow left over. I can get away with it, I cannot away with zero too so we're gonna have to really brighten up with concealer i'm gonna take the rose ink lx020 to really brighten up under my eyes again during this time bright under eyes was very much a thing but i'm also gonna have to just even up some areas on my face that are a little too dark especially around that jaw area i'm also gonna put a little bit at my brow here to make them thinner because i'm not going full prosthetics here i'm just doing what I can naturally. Okay, I'm gonna move on to setting powder. I feel like MAC Studio Fix was definitely a moment back then. And this is the NW22 Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. This is definitely gonna give me extra coverage, but also really give me a matte finish, which is what I'm going for. I'm gonna take Pound Cake from Huda Beauty and I'm gonna set under my eyes with this just because I feel like brighter under eyes was for sure something Pamela did and a lot of other iconic, you know, ladies back then. So just really pressing this in my under eyes, making sure they look nice and bright. This feels like so much makeup, but we're rolling with it. I'm gonna go to bronzer. Bronzer was definitely a massive moment on the face just because blush wasn't really a thing back then. Oh, I know. So we're gonna go a little heavy handed with the bronzer. Basically everywhere because we're not really gonna use blush. I might still but in case I'm gonna take this code 8 one in bronze. She definitely didn't have as a Defined or long jaw as I do so I'm gonna try and Hide that a little bit with some contouring or you know shadowing, but it's quite prominent on my face Hers was definitely lifted and a little bit shorter this is just an inspired makeup look, not a replication. I'm gonna try and contour my nose ever so slightly so it just looks a little bit pointier at the front. I feel like I can get away with the softest swipe of this blush. It's like a really soft baby pink and it's a cool tone. It's in the shade Dainty from MAC. So I'm just gonna put a very small amount on just to add a little bit of color. Okay, this next part of the makeup is gonna be the hardest for me to get the look but her brows were very much those 90s thin high brows mine are a little bit fuller so we're just gonna do what we can i'm gonna take the benefit precisely my brow pencil in 3.5 and just try and make a little bit more of a round line shape i'm gonna take a small amount of concealer to try and hide the bottom of my brows but it's obviously gonna look not the most natural why not okay that's genuinely as thin as I'm gonna be able to get them so we're gonna move on to her iconic eyeliner which is just a good old black gel liner I have this one from L'Oreal the infallible grip gel automatic eyeliner up to 36 hour wear so hopefully it stays I have it in black I'm honestly just taking my time with this going in with the black pencil and then switching to the rubber side and just blending it out. This is where the patience is real. I'm just laughing to myself there because I literally have to do this on the other side <laughs> and it's been like five minutes. Okay, we're gonna step away from the eyeliner and we're gonna go on to shadow. So I have this MAC palette and I'm gonna start with the darkest shade, which I think is just like an off black right here. And 
I'm just gonna start buffing that into the liner that we did, but bringing it upwards, keeping that cat eye shape though. Okay, I'm gonna mix the taupey and the brown shade together just to buff out the outer corners. Again, this is a very not perfect smoky eye, if you will. <laughs> so we're just gonna work with it. Now I'm gonna take this, definitely a cool tone slate kind of shade. I'm gonna take it on my fingers. I'm actually gonna brighten it up with the lightest shade in the palette, a little mix of them. And then I'm gonna pop it in the inner corner, not to necessarily highlight, but definitely give a little contrast. Okay, now I'm gonna take the brightest shade in this palette on its own and highlight my brow bone because that was definitely over-exaggerated on her makeup, so go hard on that. <laughs> you can buff away if it's too much. I'm gonna do some mascara trying to make it go with this makeup so not so much up more so out when it comes to lips overlining was definitely a thing so i'm going to take this liner from mac in morning coffee the upper lip was definitely rounded and very much overlined so let's do this color i have is one that i'm testing out for pearl beauty so any kind of neutral nude shade will do. We want it to look like lipstick and liner, like two separate things. That was definitely the look. I'm gonna add a little bit of pink gloss just because the lips are so dry and I feel like a lot of pictures I saw, there was a little bit of gloss. So this is a Maybelline gloss in 006 Reef. Okay, this is the final look. I literally just put my hair up in one clip. It looks a lot more fancy than it actually is. I just felt like she always had a messy updo. I hope you liked it. I feel like her look is trending at the moment, especially with the new series on Disney+. Plus. I've yet to watch it, but I think we can all agree her look was very iconic. This is my take on it. Definitely not an everyday one, but it was fun to do. I don't think I've ever spent so much time on eye makeup, but hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know what you wanna see more down below in the comments, and I'll make sure to do that. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye.